What's up, guys? Welcome back to Radical Investors, where we talk about stocks, crypto, NFTs, and always how to get to the money. Today, guys, I want to just jump right into it. We have something that is trending massively in the crypto world, and that is burn, hashtag burn, B-A-Y-C. Now, what is this and what does this mean? A fellow YouTuber by the name of Philion has just released a um, video speaking about how the Board Ape Yacht Club project's art includes several Nazi themes, several alt right themes, several degen, 4 chain um, racist themes built into the art of Board Ape Yacht Club. Now, I want you guys, I'm not gonna, I, I, I want you guys to, to watch the video. So if you hashtag Board Ape Yacht Burn, Board Ape Yacht Club, it'll go in and just, it's an hour long video, but it's very in depth and it breaks down everything. And this video was based off of the, the research by a creator in the space by the name of Ryder Rips. Now, Ryder Rips is a creative director, artist, satirist, and he's an individual that is very aware and very knowledgeable of meme culture. So he has broken down his foundings in a website that you can go on, which is Gordon Goner. So if you take a look at the website, he really goes into the details of connecting the source material of Board 8 Yacht Club, right? From obviously the imagery here to the to the caps to the it gets deep to the actual logo, which some people have said it was connected to a motorcycle gang. No, that's not the case. It's actually connected to a Nazi token emblem. So this is something that is very deep and that people really need to be mindful of in the in the Board Ape Yacht Club community. So you can take a look at the breakdown. I, I, I really want you to really go and actually do the research, guys. So I, I, I'm trying to kind of just give you the general, but it is quite quite uh, disturbing at the level of intentionality behind the Board Ape Yacht Club's images. And now, just to speak on um, just art in general, right? Art, for the most part, always, artists always have intention behind their art. And a lot of times, the greatest of artists, what they'll do is make it so intentional to where only a certain group of people understand the reference points. Now, what we're seeing here with the information that's been put out in this documentary is that the creators of Board Ape Yacht Club have been extremely, extremely intentional to the point where this is not a coincidence, but this is a elaborate connecting set of imagery and symbolism, which is trying to put out signals to a certain audience that understands those signals. So. I really want you guys to watch this documentary. Let me just go into some of the tweets that Ryder Rip has been putting out um, and just kind of some feedback of what's been going on. Um, so obviously he's showing that the traffic, now this um, was just released within the last 24 hours, this documentary, and you can see it is spreading. Um, now strategically to the the YouTuber's credit, uh, Fillion's credit, he did release it in NF, during NFT NYC. So great job in actually releasing it at a time where it can actually go viral so that people in the space are aware of the origins of, of this project. Now, um, let's just read some tweets. So we have Board Ape Yacht Club is going to use all kinds of mental gymnastics to defend their bags from going to zero now. It's just a matter of time before this hits the mainstream. The Yuga Labs team never intended to dox themselves. That's a great point because Yuga Labs 
when they initially and in the crypto space you see this a lot where people don't want to dox themselves because that somehow is something that we've accepted in the nft space but you know in our channel we've mentioned it that we actually like projects that actually revealed who the creators were so these guys eventually were forced to dox themselves and in the documentary you'll see that when that happened we were able to now look into the backgrounds of these individuals and a lot of them have a lot of direct ties in their previous postings in their previous for example one guy who studied who was the creative writer studied and made a did a thesis paper on a nazi back in college now that's that's uh, that's already weird and odd right so if you connect that to the rest of the things that the documentary goes into you you will look at it and say this is not coincidental trust me on that oh yeah so this was an interesting one so this is a whole nother aspect of board eight yacht club guys i'm just bringing you the breaking news so bear with me um but uh ben baller who's an influencer out here he's a jewelry chain um creator uh, entrepreneur uh, he recently was on a Twitter space where he spoke about how uh, Board 8 Yacht Club and MoonPay were bribing celebrities with gifting them to these uh, Board 8 Yacht Clubs and just having them sign NDNAs to not tell the truth behind the gift. So he was actually approached by MoonPay to receive a Board 8 Yacht Club. Now, this is aspect is very interesting because this could reveal why so many random celebrities all got into board ape yacht club if they were receiving these items for free or they were being bribed into getting these just to be part of the scene it really makes and it puts to light uh, puts to light a lot that's going on within this board ape yacht club community also i will say this has ramifications because if Board Ape Yacht Club does go down and the connecting to these celebrities, they may also suffer some legal consequences. This can be a big problem for all participants. Let's go down and read some more tweets. So Board Ape Yacht Club made by savvy racist internet trolls who think they are smarter than everyone and proving that they are. This is what Ryder Rips tweets. Now, I, guys, I want you to think about the creator, I want you to watch the documentary. I'm, I am gonna continue to say that, but I want you to think about the creators. When they released this project, they had no idea, no idea how big it would get. I think any anybody that's created an NFT project in the past two years has not, did not believe, did not know what was going to happen, right? With the type of mania we've had in the NFT market. So that, can give you context as to them creating something for their community, which seems to be a pretty uh, alt-right community. What they were putting together was never meant to be mainstream, right? They did not know how big it would get, but obviously they're in too deep now and they're running with it. Let's read some more tweets. So you mean it's not a coincidence that the guy who studied Nazi fiction in college is interested in Nazi fiction? You're crazy. Go back to QAnon. We'll have the link of the documentary down below. Just go watch it. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments and definitely spread the news because we can't have this type of just blatant uh, racism in this crypto space, right? We believe in crypto, we believe in NFTs here, but we do not tolerate this type of garbage. So we need to let this thing go viral and get this out to the masses of people. Now for board current Burity Yacht Club owners, I understand it sucks for you guys because you guys are holding uh, something that on paper was valuable, but it's representation and what it represents is straight trash. So each of you guys need to take your own accountability because you will be judged in how you choose to move. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like our channel, bless and subscribe. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.